She's like, thanks, but I like things like heat and running water. <laughs> Call me fancy. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka okay, GeekXX Chic, and we are back with the reaction to The Walking Dead. We're now into episode 18, which is called A New Deal. Apologies for how late this is. I know I'm very behind, but as many of you know who've been watching my channel for a while, I had a big change in my surroundings, and so I'm still catching up. So I appreciate your patience with me getting these reactions out. But let's jump into this one. The last episode was uh, ended on a few cliffhangers, one of the main ones being that Daryl and the team of people who are outside of the Commonwealth are basically trying to take out Hornsby and his ragtag group of rebellious, uh, corrupt police. And um, I don't even know what you call them. They're kind of like a little militia. And um, they managed to dra draw him into the sewers where they thought they had the jump on him. Daryl literally has a knife to his throat. However, there are still way more of them than there are of Daryl. So we'll see how that standoff goes because I feel like Hornsby's crazy enough that Daryl's got to be willing to make that cut if necessary, because I do think Hornsby would probably risk himself to take these guys out. And inside of Alexandria, we see that Negan has gone in to warn the Alexandrians uh, that were inside of the Commonwealth of what's going on outside so that they could protect themselves and more importantly, get the leverage that Hornsby would use, aka the children, to a place where he can't touch them and we see thankfully that Jerry was able to get to them and hide them for the time being but of course Hornsby's people inside are still looking for them the little sniveling hmm, that is the mayor's son has been taken in um he Carol found him, brought him to his mother, and my guess is so that they can broker some sort of deal for the safety of herself and the other Alexandrians and to somehow keep Hornsby and his people from doing what they need to do. But I'm not sure how well that's going to go because as we've discovered, Pam doesn't really have a lot of power in this town. She definitely thought she did, but it was Hornsby that was running a lot. So lots of things happening in this episode. It's called a new deal. So we'll have to see what that deal is and who it's between, but we're not going to know that until we jump into the episode. So let's do that. But before we do, if this is your first time my channel. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I do reactions to shows like this here. So if that's something that interests you, please think about hitting the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you can know when I do more uploads. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it so much if you showed some love to the like button as well. Leave comments below if it isn't in your heart to do. And for those of you who've been here before, thank you so much for your patience. Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. And if you haven't joined the family already, please do. We are on a journey to 10k as you know, and we're getting very, very close. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into episode 18 right about now Lost oh my so god baby Daryl I kind of miss him with short hair oh Merle people who die and the people who why die. Carl why would you do that I'm so tired of y'all showing me Rick when you ain't showing me Rick I need my Rashawn sequel now just cut Daryl it's so simple just pull it across you know what to do hey how you doing, daddy? Keep going. You could say it slipped. Not here. Not like this. That's right. Later. Do what you fucking gotta do. Ooh! Carol. Ooh! Trust Carol. Come on. I know she's definitely moved shady in the past, but you gotta know that almost all of her deals are for the better, the betterment of the people she cares about. Besides, you didn't hear what, what uh... My brother said, he said, not here, not now. He didn't say not ever. Ah! Ah! Daryl, you salty bitch. I love you. <laughs> it was petty and I appreciate it. Look at Negan. I approve. I love it. I love it. It was so petty. See if it had been Michonne, she would just cut the whole hand off. She'd be like, you will never forget me. But how did they find them in the sewers? There must have been people above, I guess. We get supplies, water, weapons. Pamela provides everything that we need to finish rebuilding. I don't believe her. Actually, I believe her. I don't believe Hornsby. There's a lot to think about on our end. All right, now, like how they killed most of our people. There's that. What? Hmm. That loaded one word answer from Daryl. He wants Hornsby dead, and I don't blame him. Hmm. Could just leave you here. You know, if he gets bitten, he'll last at least long enough for you to put him up there. You know, they don't die right away. You might survive this if you play things right, but your life at the Commonwealth is over. Ooh. 
After all the years, after all that I've done in service of you. Oh, please. It's all I've done. Delusional little boy, man. Trying to win a game. That's creepy. Too foolish to realize that you've never actually been a player in it. <gasps> the ego kick. I'd almost think that was badass, but I can't stand her. Whatever game you're playing, Pamela, I'm very much in it. Oh, my ego is hurt. Me, 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 me. But I also wonder, like, can't he just throw her son under the bus? But I guess he'd need evidence. Justice will be served. Yeah, the people are like, mm-hmm. Because we are the Commonwealth. Yeah. Right, so we're leaving. You show me your home, I can show you mine. Maybe someday. She's like, thanks, but I like things like heat and running water. <laughs> Call me fancy. Mm-hmm. She angry, and you do not want to see a black woman when she's truly angry. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey. Uh, all set. I'll grab us some water. Okay. Alright. Mm-hmm. That's something new. Henry. He's been gone a while, hen. No, I haven't forgotten. And this is the apocalypse. Like, you gotta live. Every day, like it's your last. I think even Carol gets you that. Happy, I swear. Okay. Exactly. And don't ever. Sorry. Right? Could get bit tomorrow. Your mama could rise from the pits. You okay? Yeah. Judith looks angry. Aaron's always saying goodbye to this little girl. <laughs> Poor thing. She's gonna have serious abandonment issues. Oh. Not Rick's revolver. Walking Dead, you really coming for me right now, and I'm not not happy about it. It's still broken. And what about everyone else here? Shouldn't we stay and help them? Isn't that what you and Mom and Dad did at Alexandria and Hilltop? A little different. The only difference now is that you'd rather run away than stay and fight. God damn it. Stop. Stop. It's a very simplistic way, the children think. And she's half right, but Alexandria was like a tiny little community. This is a place with a full military. It's a little bit different scale here. Not to mention not everybody who's in the Commonwealth wants it to change. Yeah, see, look at them all just like, hmm, back to everything being fine again. I hate to disappoint the kids. I'm sure somebody else could do it. Uh. Yeah, but this is what makes Zeke happy. You're not coming, are you? No, oh, he likes it here. What place is he? He wants to help the people with his secret ninja hospital. Give me a second chance to do a whole lot more, so that's what I want to do. He's always happiest around his animals anyway. We could all do that. Carol will never feel safe in these types of surroundings. She kind of needs a little bit of chaos. There are certain things you need to do if you're ever going to leave this place. Ew! That's why she doesn't want to leave. She's like, if that little... You have jeopardized enough with your stupidity. Mm -hmm. And be reminded that you are his grandson. I am. Then show them. Show me. See, he was telling the truth. The only reason he would get this position, like many other people who are in power, is because of his blood. Not because he actually deserves it or that he's earned it. You were born to leave this place. No, he really wasn't. This kid is like, what's his name? Aegon from House of the Dragon. Might have been an issue if we didn't catch it earlier. But now we'll keep a close eye and you'll be fine. Guess Negan's staying. It's not getting too real for you? No. No. He's wanted a baby for a long time, actually. This is the only time he's actually gone about it in a non-creepy, predatory way, that's all. Man, your life is... It's not your own. Once you have kids, it's never the same. It's true. Well, for the people who take their parenthood seriously. And all the people they killed. We don't need this place. Because it's us now. That's a pretty huge thing not to be on the same page about. Like massive, actually. Negan for once thinking of someone other than myself, but if she doesn't want to stay, and I don't blame her, I feel like every child in that place is just leverage for these people. But doctors are very hard to come by in the apocalypse. We know that. The vest is just part of Daryl's identity at this point. That's right. Where's Judith? 
She ain't going. RJ, where's Judith? <laughs> Invincible comic? I see what you did there. Where'd she go? I don't know. Are you lying, RJ? For your big sis. Yeah, I had a feeling that she would have a hard time leaving because it's the first time she's felt safe in her entire life and that is a Addicting, especially like we saw how it affected um, Lydia, right? The idea of just having some safety for once. We just hope that the choice we make is the right one at the time. You'll figure it out. I know you will. Yeah, especially considering he didn't really ask for this. My girl Michonne really just dumped her kids on him, quite literally. I definitely knew Sebastian was bad news, and I just went along with it. You don't know what it's like to feel that kind of guilt. You'd be surprised. Hmm. He actually knows intimately. Thinking like that actually felt good. Like, maybe we could actually change things. You created a revolutionary. But if you truly believe there's an outside chance he can help us, then... If you're going to Hornsby... I'll suck it up. And I'll do my best. <sighs> They're going to Hornsby. I mean, Hornsby is who helped her as far as getting Eugene in there and everything. And, yeah. This is why y'all never learn. I'm looking for any information that might be damaging to Pamela or her progeny. Progeny. I'd love to help. But, but the irony is I'm obsessed with her. People wanted her son's head, and now they're dancing in the streets celebrating the Milton legacy. Founders of the Commonwealth. Hmm. Eugene, make sure you tell your girlfriend too. Mm-hmm. She's so great at hiding in plain sight, right next to Pamela. Yep. He knows you a little too well there, girl. Unless you're willing to burn the whole thing down. Well, yeah. This is the thing. People keep acting like they can't just kill Pamela and her son. I mean, I know it's extreme, but really, cut the head off the snake and then what? People have to figure it out, wouldn't they? We can enjoy Mrs. Brennan's ambrosia on the road back home. That's all you. Yuck. Yeah. And what you gave will be here long after you're gone. Yeah. If they've got true faith. Ma'am. Can we help you? Okay. Hornsby's backup plan. Now, did they shoot them to become walkers? Because they focused on that door twice. And that's the other thing I thought that these guys didn't realize that Hornsby's got people inside. So anyway, we'll see. This new deal is a little too good to be true. So you want to talk about it? Sorry about earlier. No, sometimes kids just need to be quiet, <laughs> quite frankly. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's like, you're not even my kid. And I have to keep you safe. Or Michonne will cut my head off. But either way, you're stuck with me. <laughs> Otherwise, Michonne will cut my head off. <laughs> okay. Like it. Mature conversation. I sound like a douchebag. That's be because you are. This is bullshit. I don't like when these two are alone at all. Look at you. Trying a little bit of manipulation. That could backfire, sis. That guy, like, was all handsy with you last time. He got a little drunky. This should be my brother. What happened to your brother? That's what she wanted. I'm just the one that's still here. Hmm. Second son. People don't want honesty. They want to be told that everything's A-OK -okay so they can go about ignoring the goddamn mess this world really is. Sadly, <laughs> there's a lot of people who like to keep their head in the sand. Need to believe that the old American dream is still real. Yep. You know? Why do you think these people are here? The reality is that the poor stay poor so that the rich can do whatever the hell we want. Wow, he's smarter than he looks. There are no bootstraps to pull up. Christ, my mom handpicks the lottery winners. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just too stupid to see. It's pathetic. Sad. Everything he said was the truth. Not all of them, of course. There is the ghetto people who are just trying to get in. <laughs> it's a very interesting commentary on how societies work, but especially if this is a world where everything outside had literally fallen apart. People are in this place because they want to eat candy apples and go to a petting zoo. They don't want to believe that there's a world of rotting corpses outside. Very symbolic. Drop the beat, Eugene. I'm also wondering whether or not... Uh, Hornsby expected this to happen because he benefits from Pamela being taken down. Are you ready? To rumble. The 
fact that y'all can be this loud when there are dead walking around outside, literally screaming a dinner bell right now. You're telling me of all the things that survived the apocalypse, WWE is one of them. Okay. I kind of feel bad for Judith. I mean, she didn't get to grow up with this nonsense. All right, brother man. You about to get shot? Does her face get sore from always having this face? My son Sebastian has prepared a few words. Um, but something tells me we're about to hear the remix. Thank you. It is, uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be here with no, you. No, no, no. Are you going to tell the truth, Sebastian? Are you going to grow your very own pair? If you would join me in listening to the wise words of President Milton, founder of the Commonwealth. Is she gonna feel guilty about her little plan? Let's see. The desperate need to believe that the old American dream is still real. You know, anything is possible. We, we could rise above our station. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Eugene's like, I'm gonna just step off the stage. What did I do? I was just having a conversation. Are you gonna attack me? Please, everyone, remain calm. Someone hit her in the face. Down. Stand down. You're like, y'all better not hit my sister even though she did this. Maybe she didn't plan that well. She shouldn't have stood by to watch the seeds or the fruits of her labors go by. But um, I think she maybe should have been a little further away. Then she could have given two deuces. I hope there's a razor blade in it. Walkers. Yep, I knew he set off walker bombs. Oh, please let him get bit. That's poetic. Where's Judith? I don't even care about these people. Secure the governor to you directly from me. Meh. She can secure going? herself. Come on. My job is to protect the Commonwealth now. You should know how to protect yourself by now. You thought you were so bad after your shotgun earlier in the season. Let's see you go, girl. Oh no no. Hide the babies. Yeah, two bites. Eat up, my brother. Oh, poor Judith. Shocking realization there's no such thing as a safe place. Oh no, they're separated. But you know what, Judith can handle herself. And where's RJ? Judith, what are you doing, girl? Is that daddy's revolver? Rick's saving you from wherever he is. That's right. She's ready. Sorry, baby girl. I know you wanted this place to be better than it is, but this is only a matter of time. Ah, oh, Judith did not want to go back to this life. He's going to push her into them. Yes, that's what you get. That's what you get. That's what you get. Nobody better save his ass either. That's what you get. Karma's a bitch and she paid early today. Nobody knows how to help him all of a sudden. Look at that. Interesting. How many times did you order people to go off and kill people for you? That's right. Mm. Bite into that little scrawny ass neck. Mm. Dig in. Where's your mommy now? Thank you for taking your time with that, Judith. Most gangster thing you've ever done. You need to shoot him too. You know that, right? Or maybe you don't want to be the one to do it. I feel bad for her. She shouldn't have had to do this. Mm. Look at her friend like, damn, you know, how to, you know how to wield like that? Girl, you should see her with a sword. I know, Daryl feels bad now. Dang, here we are. All right, guys, I have some thoughts about this episode of The Walking Dead, which I'll be doing in my review, which will be coming up very shortly after this. So if you are interested, please tune in for that. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode along with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.